today's recipe is inspired by the flavors of the season. It's a pumpkin spice latte cake. You are gonna wanna run out and make this, so follow along and write down all the ingredients. I'm starting off by whisking together my dry ingredients. It's one and three quarters cups of flour, four teaspoons of espresso powder, instant espresso powder, not ground espresso. You don't want little bits of grit in your mouth, so you use the instant. It's really easily found in your supermarket. One and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. You can buy this, obviously you guys all know that, but if you wanna make your own, we do have a recipe on our website at marthastewart.com. It's like a combination of cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger, I think, it's super simple. Two teaspoons of baking powder, and three quarters of a teaspoon, of course, salt. Again, if you're using fine salt or salt finer than the kosher salt that we're using, use less. I would say use like a heaping quarter teaspoon to replace three quarters of a teaspoon. It's about half as salty. Mmm, oh my gosh. Mm. Smells so good already. I love it. And the little bit of espresso in there is what makes it sort of a latte cake and the pumpkin pie. You get that, you understand. This is a cup of pure pumpkin puree. It's not pumpkin pie mix. And to that, you're adding your wet and your sugar. So it's three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. And then for more of that pumpkin pie flavor, it's a half a cup of light brown sugar. Break that up just a little bit. And then add your eggs. I like to add the eggs first. It's two large eggs. I'm trying to be really good about this. So I'm breaking my eggs into a bowl first. Make sure I don't get any, uh-oh, I did. And I threw away my shell, which is the only way to get shell out of egg in a really good way. But I just used my finger, don't tell anybody. It's all of you who are watching. It's gonna be two eggs total. I like to whisk them in first because it makes it easier to combine. If you add all of the wet ingredients, which is some more butter and some milk, it gets too loose and then everything doesn't combine nicely. And this cake, as you can see, I'm mixing by hand and it's really, really simple. But if you do it in the right order, it makes it even easier. One more egg. Have your oven preheating, 350 degrees. Standard cake baking temperature. Yes, some bake at 400, some bake at 325, but a lot of cakes bake at 350. Pretty common temperature. It's nice and even. Then you can whisk in your butter. It's one stick or eight tablespoons of unsalted melted butter and two thirds of a cup of whole milk. Done. Don't get this on your shirt because it won't come out. I speak from experience. And then you can add your dry ingredients to your wet ingredients. So make sure your wet ingredients are in a nice big bowl so you can whisk, whisk with abandon. <laughs> Mmm, be a little careful right here. Whisk out all the lumps. This is a nine inch cake pan that I have lined with parchment and sprayed with cooking spray for non-stick properties. Scrape your batter into the pan. You can make really good cupcakes out of this too. Just divide the batter between lined muffin tins. Smooth the top. It'll smooth out in the oven anyway, so you don't have to worry about it too much. And get it into your 350 degree oven. You wanna bake this until the top springs back when lightly touched. That'll take 35 to 40 minutes. All right, now we're gonna eat it. <laughs> the entire thing, all in one sitting. No, I'm just kidding. So you wanna take it out of the pan after about 10 minutes and let it cool completely. And then top it with some nice whipped cream. You can lightly sweeten your whipped cream. I like to use confectioner sugar because it holds up really nicely. Pile it on. Yeah, it's a kind of a lot of whipped cream because <laughs> I like to go crazy. It's delicious and whipped cream is light, right? <laughs> so if you don't think about it too much, it has a very light presentation. Then sprinkle with a little bit more of that espresso powder. It gives a little bit of extra espresso-iness, and it also gives an indicator of what you're gonna get when you cut into it. It's a pumpkin spice latte cake. Just in time for the pumpkin spice extravaganza that is fall. Should I try it? Uh, everybody says yes. <laughs> All right. 
head into it. Mm -hmm. Dense and moist. And I'm gonna say it's rich and delicious, even before I taste it, because I created this recipe. Mmm. Mmm. It is divine. Give it a try. Thank you.